Hi, it's Dr. Noor here. I'm the medical director here at NUMA. One of the most frequent questions I've been asked by our new patients when they start their treatment here at NUMA is why we don't use facial mask or nasal cannula in our hyperbaric oxygen chambers. I'll try and explain and simply. Okay. Starting with the nasal cannulas, and they are quite comfortable to use with, but they are typically designed to uh, deliver about two to four liters per minute oxygen that would provide the patient with about 28 to 35% maximum oxygen. Um, so, and the facial masks are very similar and depending on the flow being used and depending on the oxygen source being used, um, they're typically maximum, they can deliver about sort of 35 to 40% oxygen. And, and the other complication using these uh, masks and through the holes, the ambient air to get into the system, get into the mask, and also the patient breathes in and out to the mask as well, and that further compromise the quality and purity and concentrations of the oxygen. And when you try and deliver the oxygen uh, through these masks, and they're not designed to use to be used in hyperbaric oxygen um, environments um, as well. So the Bips mask, however, they have. Um, two different hoses and, and it allows the separations of the inhalations and exhalations in a uh, closed circuit and, and it allows patient to breathe in and uh, the oxygen through the inhalation hoses and the exhalation um, is being sucked out of the system uh, through negative pressure and which allows an effective and safe delivery of the oxygen under hyperbaric oxygen environments.